Hi YouTube, welcome to my Master One Nemler. Uh, malaria, malaria, hot mama. I mean, malaria, infectious disease guide. Do you like little girls too? Wait, what's going on? Hello everyone, hey, Tofu, and welcome to my Master One Nemlaria guide. This video is going to be split up into three different parts. So the first part is going to be about the Nemlaria cards and the general ratio you want to run. And the second part of the video, we're going to just go over the deck list um, that I used to climb to Master One. And the third part of the video, we're going to be going over some games on our climb to Master One. So if you guys enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. And if there's anything that I missed or anything, let me know in the comments below. All right, let's get started with our core cards and the ratios we generally want in this deck. So let's go over each card um, and we're going to start off with the most important card which is the card that this whole deck plays around, um, Dreaming Nemlaria. So she's got a Pendulum Effect and a regular Monster Effect. So her Pendulum Effect is once per turn. During your main phase, you can place one Nemlaria Continuous Spell from your deck or graveyard face up on your field. And you'll only have one Continuous Spell, so that's the only one you gotta worry about. And if you do, add this card to your extra deck face up. You cannot Special Summon her the same turn you activate this effect. Um, make sure you remember that because that could cost you some games and you think you could summon her, but you can't. And her normal effect is she cannot be normal summoned or set. She must be special summoned from your face of extra deck by having no cards in your extra deck except Dreaming Nemlaria. So this archetype is all about banishing your extra deck until she's the only one face up in your extra and you summon her and you resolve her effect. So you can only special summon Dreaming Nemlarias once per turn. If this card is special summoned, for every three of your face down banished cards, you can banish up to one card from your opponent's field and or graveyard face down. Um, so that is basically you have 15, so let's say you banish 15 of your extra decks, so your entire extra decks banished face down. That means you can banish five cards from your opponent's field or graveyard face down without targeting. And then you can shuffle one of your face down banished cards into your extra deck for each card banished by this effect. So you just recover back your extra deck, and you can even recover back other face down banished cards that you banished from either Small World, or Pot of Desires if you run that card, or maybe Gizmek Orochi if you run that card, maybe the Cash Tier is your opponent and they banished your cards face down, you can recover those back. So she's basically, she nukes the opponent's field, obviously there's cards like Imperm or Dimensional Barrier that can stop her, um, but we do have a few ways to stop those cards. All right, and the next card we're gonna look at is basically the, be the second best card, um, the Searcher. And generally, this card is used to search the girl um, if you don't have her in your hand already. So what this card does is add one Nemlaria monster from your deck to your hand. Then, if you have Dreaming Nemlaria face up in your extra deck, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects this turn when a Nemlaria monster is normal or special summoned. So what this means is if the girl's already face up in your extra deck and you decide to search with this card, you activate this card, they can't chain Judgment, they can't chain Imperm, they can't chain Barone Negate, they can't chain anything that would negate her. So they'd have to preemptively negate you, like cards like Skill Drain, they'd have to do it before she's actually summoned, or cards like Dimensional Barrier where they just do it off the rip so they don't have to chain it to anything. You can place this card from the graveyard on the bottom of your deck, then target one Dreaming Nemlaria you control, add it to the extra deck face up. So this is a way that this card can recycle itself, it goes back into the deck, and it puts the girl right back on your extra deck face up, so you can summon her again next turn once your extra deck's emptied again. So this is generally what this card does. You can also search other Nemlaria monsters as well if you already have the girl, um, just depending on what your hand is. Alright, and the next card we're going to look at is the Continuous Spell. So this is the card that the girl actually puts up face up on your field. So this card is a Continuous Spell, and you can banish two face down cards from your extra deck face down. Add two level 10 beast monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. Um, and make sure that it's beast monsters. So you do have a level 10 fairy monster, so just to not get confused, you can only search level 10 beast monsters. 
You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck the turn you activate this effect, except pendulum monsters. So this prevents you from going into your extra deck. So if you have an OTK line with like Rail, Gustav, Cannon, Dreadnought, whatever that rank 10, um, don't activate this card. You can only use this effect of Dreaming Tower Princess Nemleria once per turn. So yeah, you can only search once per turn, even if you have multiple copies. If a Nemleria monster you control would be destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, while you have a Dreaming Nemleria face up in your extra deck, you can banish one face down card from your extra deck face down instead. So what this means is, let's say your opponent want, is has like a Barone, and you have this card face up, and you also have the girl in your extra deck face up. So if he decides to pop like a monster, this can pr basically protect your monsters so far as long as you have face down extra deck cards. All right, and the next monster we're gonna go is probably the most important monster, I would say, and that's why we have three of them, is the Nimleria Dream Devour Reveal. And this card's a level 10 beast, so he is searchable with the continuous spell. He's got 2,500 attack and defense. He's a dark attribute with 10 stars. So this is kind of important just because we're running three small worlds in this deck. So you want to make sure you know um, the level, the attribute, type, attack, and defense. So if this card is in your hand or graveyard, and that's very important, graveyard too, you can banish three cards from your extra deck face down, except Dreaming Nimleria. Special summon this card. So he's basically a free special if he's in your hand or in the graveyard as long as you got three face down extra deck monsters. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck that turn you activate this effect except pendulum monsters. So he also locks you just like that continuous spell card. And you can send one other level 10 beast monster from your hand or face up field to the grave. Set one Nemleria trap directly from your deck. And we have options of two different traps. Um, and I'll let you know what I generally think of, of which, which trap to choose, depending on the hand we have. Um, and you can only use each effect of him once per turn. So he's a trap searcher, and he can't be Ash just because it sets directly from deck. And he's also a pretty easy special from hand or grave. And let's get into the next monster. I think this is also another decently important monster. Um... The monster's effects are a little bit underwhelming, um, but that's okay because the girl kind of makes up for these little bit underwhelming effects. So Nimleria Dream Defender Quint. Uh, it's a light monster, so unlike the other one, it's not dark, it's light type. Or light attribute, 2000 attack, 2500 defense. 2500 defense right here, so is Lava Golem, so you're able to search Lava Golem off of him. So if you have a face-up pendulum monster in your extra deck, you can special summon this card from your hand. So basically, if you got the girl face-up, you just summon this guy for free. You can only special summon him once per turn this way. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a Nimleria card you control, so even a trap, even a spell, or a monster, while you have Dreaming Nimleria face-up in your extra deck, you can banish one face-down card from your extra deck face-down, negate that activation, you can only use its effect of Dreaming Defender quit once per turn. So he doesn't destroy it, but he does negate the activation. Um, does it say negate? Yeah, negates the activation so you can stop things like Imperm. You can stop things like... Well, you can't really stop a Bro and Pop because if he negates you... Um, then I guess if you have the Continuous spell, it could protect you from destruction, but it would still... Um, the, the destruction would still resolve. But anyways, he protects your Nimleria cards from targeting specifically. If you have the girl face up so a lot of these effects are if you have girl face up then you can do this let's go into dream defender o'reiler so this is this card is probably um the worst monster card in this deck or as some people say i kind of i like him just because all your monsters are below 3,000 attack points and he's like the only only monster that's able to go above that um, but let's take a read so if you have a face-up pendulum monster in your extra deck, so which is the girl, you can special this card from your hand for free. You can only do it once per turn. And if you have Dreaming Nemleria face-up in your extra deck, you can banish one face-down card from your extra deck face-down. This card gains 500 attack for each monster your opponent currently controls until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect once per turn. So if your opponent has five monsters, you gain 2,500 attack. If they have six, you gain... 3,000 attack, so his max attack he's able to go to is uh, 5,500 attack. So he's pretty 
And he's also able to activate his effect in the damage step because it's an attack modification effect. So you can avoid some certain like negates and stuff too. And the next monster, um, arguably the least, well, he's actually, it depends on the situation. He's either a really hard brick or he kind of wins you games. Um, but his effect is gains 100 attack for each face down card in your extra deck. And you can only use each of the following effects of Dreaming, Reality, of Nemleria, Realized, once per turn. So if this card is in your hand, you can target one monster you control, place it on the bottom of your deck, and if you do, special this card. If this card is special summon, you can activate one of these effects. Add one Dreaming Nemleria from your deck to your face-up extra deck, so you should be he basically puts the girl face up automatically or you can change one other face-up monster on the field to face down defense. So this is a non-targeting um, Book of Moon, basically. And generally, you don't want him in your hand because there's a trap that you can special summon him, and then he activates whichever effect you want to activate. Um, so that's why we only run one copy of him, because he's sort of a brick. You have to like put a card back into your deck just to summon him, so that's why we only run one of him. Now let's go talk about the traps. So the trap, the most important trap is Nemleria Repeater, or Repeater. It's a continuous trap, so if you control another Nemleria card, you can banish the following number of cards from your extra deck face down, except Dreaming Nemleria, then activate the appropriate effect. So, if you control another Nemleria card, that's including continuous spells, um, in even if you activate, let's say you activate the uh, Sweet Dreams Nemleria, Technically, once you activate this card, you control a Nimleria card for that brief moment, and you can chain this card as well. So that's a cool tip to know. Um, but you can add one Nimleria card from your grave to your hand. So it says any Nimleria card. So potentially, if you run multiple repetters in your deck, you can just keep on recovering this continuous trap. Even if they destroy it, you just add it back again. You can even recover this trap. You can recover the continuous or the searcher. So. It recovers any Nemleria card. Uh, the second one is basically to help you survive, so any damage you take this turn is halved. Um, and then it's if you banish three, you're able to send a level 10 beast monster you control to the graveyard, and if you do negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent controls until the end of this turn. So it's sometimes it's tough to choose between if you tough to choose between two and three once it's the opponent's turn, like you have to kind of pray that they don't have enough damage and you use the negate effect and then they might have enough damage to kill you or you do the safe one where you just take half damage this turn to survive. So it just comes from understanding the opponent's deck and what they're able to do and then that's how you can choose which effect to use. Um, and then this last trap card, the last card, and then we'll go right into our deck list. So this card is called Nemleria Lobe. I think it's Lobe. Special summon one Nemleria monster or a level 10 beast from your hand or deck in defense mode, but return it to the hand during the end phase. So you can banish this card from your grave, target one face up monster your opponent controls, it loses 100 attack and defense for each of your currently face down banished cards until the end of this turn. You can only use each effect of this once per turn. So generally, uh, what this card does is it summons the it summons the dreaming reality of Nemleria realized, and you you usually do the change one other face up monster on the field to face down defense mode because a lot of decks they might be like link one starters and if you just rip this card up from like maybe let's say like a scareclaw deck and they normal summon their scareclaw you can flip this card face up change their monster to defense mode. Or face down defense mode, they can't link it off, and if they don't, if they have no follow up, you're able to just kill them on turn uh, three. Or if you don't have the girl face up in your extra deck, you can also use this effect as well. So depending on how your how your field is looking, uh, you want to just choose the correct effect when you summon him. Um, and it also has a stat modification effect, so a lot of people don't read, so if they attack you and you're able to just lower their attack and just have them like kill themselves, then that's also good too. But yeah, these are the um, Nemleria cards. Now let's get into the Master 1 decklist that I used to climb.
All right, so here's my deck list that I used to climb all the way to Master Rank 1 in Master Duel. Also, the deck is also listed on the Master Duel meta website, which I'll include in the description below. Um, but here it is. And basically, for the hand traps, you just you definitely want to roll this season just because Super Heavy Samurai is really strong. Um, Kashtira searches a lot, Scareclaw searches, Manadium. Um, so lots of decks that are good right now, they search, and Droll completely stops them. Um, and Maxi is obviously Maxi, Ash is Ash. Now for Ghost Bell and DD Crow, these are used mainly for the small world bridges to get to your main card. But you can um, utilize these as hand traps as well. Um, for example, with DD Crow, a popular one that I like to do is to DD Crow their branded fusion. Um, after they try to recover it back with their trap card. So that's another way. Um, Ghost Bell is just generally good. She doesn't impact the game too much though. So mainly just use her as a bridge from Maxi to Ghost Bell to Dreaming Nemlaria. Now for the Lava Golem, um, since our deck doesn't really normal summon, and if we end up going second, uh, we can just tribute out their board, and we don't really care about normal summons anyway, so it's perfect for us. Um, also, you can all search search to lava golem going from reveal to uh where is it million eater to lava golem or you can go from girl to ash to lava golem so we have ways to search lava golem as well um and in case he becomes like a brick in her hand and we have to happen to have small world we can also use lava golem to reverse search back to whatever we want as well so lava golem is just a generally good card to have in this deck we have o'reilly at two um, some people like to have them at one, but this card requires you to search two cards, and if you already happen to have O'Reilly and some some of these cards already, you won't be able to get the search effect. So I just like to have an a, abundance of our level 10 beast monsters. Now we have two defenders. We talked about these guys pr protect from targeting. We talked about reality already, and we talked about um, devour. So for Nibiru. He's also a small bridge, um, or a small world bridge as well. Uh, for example, if you have, um, let's see, if you have a dream defender in your hand, you can small world him to Nibiru to the girl, or even if you have um, another like light monster, you can even go from the girl to him to Nibiru. So they're kind of like chaining into each other. Even with dream, uh, dreaming reality of Nimlaria, you can go from. Nibiru to him to the girl as well. So Nibiru just helps you get to the girl with small world and obviously if they have lots of summons You can just use Nibiru like how it's meant to be Now we have extra and prosperity their draw cards um, And they also banish extra deck cards face down, which is what exactly what we want to do So you definitely want to have one of each um, Small world is to just increase our consistency to fix our hands in case we need to and Sweet Dreams and Emlaria, it's our Rota for the deck with extra bonus abilities, which is nice. We already have a Continuous Spell with Searches, uh, Called Buys for either the Maxis or let's say they're playing Math Mech and they're trying to revive Diameter or something. Uh, we could just Called Buy the Diameter and end it right there. Love and Repetter. I think I missed million, Eater of Million, so he kind of just banishes your entire extra deck face down. So. Um, he kind of helps with the rest, banishing the rest of the cards to just to have a live Dreaming Nemlaria. So that's our main deck. And for our extra, the most important card to run in this deck is just Super Dreadnought Real Cannon Gustav Max and Super Dreadnought Real Cannon uh, this one <laughs> and Zeus. And then the other important one is Codebreaker Virus Swordsman in case you run into a Baguska. Um, as well as Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Um, this card is also very good. You'll also get to have the bonus effect of not being able to be targeted or destroyed by card effects. And this is really, really strong against certain decks. Um, decks that target like Striker, I think Runic t only targets, and other decks as well. So this is our extra deck. Or this is our, yeah, this is our extra deck. This is our main. And let's get right into some of our games. All right, so for this first game, it's going to be up against Math Mech, and I'll also be doing uh, duels against other popular decks in this current meta right now. So it'll be five different games. The first one's going to be against Math Mech. So first things first, activate Reveller. He activates Maxi. It's not too much of a problem for us because we can only special summon one monster anyway. 
So we're going to special summon our revealer. And then we're going to send our other reveler. But we get impermed. Luckily we did draw the, um, the trap card here. So let's fast forward this. We also have max C to protect us. Um, so revealer, the reason I discarded him is because he ha he can summon himself from grave. So we're in maxi, he just called by. Alright, well, that kind of hurts. So now the only interruption we have is either a negate, which we do have to sack this monster to negate, or we do half damage. Now we're playing against Cyburst, and they have a really powerful OTK line with update jammer. So what I'm going to do is I have chaining on. As this goes off, as he resolves this... Since we're not responding to his effect, we're able to just flip this up and activate it. I'm just going to activate, negate access code, bringing his attack down to 2300. He does get two attacks still from update jammer, but it does help us survive. And since he used his called by on our maxi, we have a better chance of him not having called by for our um, revealer. So we're going to activate our revealer. And he had the second called by, that's unfortunate. So we're just going to get hit by the called by, but luckily we do have small world, so this is where we can see a small world line. So we have small world, never mind. We get ashed. So we're getting ashed, and we just have to pray. We have 3400, he does have the access code pop this turn, so he can just pop the trap. I can't do anything because I don't control any um, Nemlaria monster. So now we're down to 100 life points against a math mech deck. And we have max C, so... Oh wait, no, we have Revealer again. We can summon Revealer and smack into Axis Code. And then hopefully we can set a trap and hopefully that's enough. Okay, so we have the trap and this is the trap that I said it was where you want to summon the Ice Cream Man. You want to summon the guy that flips you face down. So once he normal summons, I'm going to max C instantly here. And this is just deck knowledge is where you want to flip this up right away. The reason is because when diameter um, goes into like an Xyz monster, the Xyz gains a negate. So we don't want him to negate anything, so we're going to flip him face down right away with our trap. Summon him, non-targeting flip face down. He does go into a rank 4 Alembertian, being able to search his circular, but we did draw into our Nibiru. So he goes Mathmex circular, and he summons Mathmex, sending his subtraction. Uh, we draw into Extrav. We have three extra deck cards left, so it's kind of perfect. We have Small World. So he's trying to go for the kill. We only have 100 life points. All he has to do is 100 points of damage. We're going to go Nibiru, tribute out everything, summon Nibiru, token in defense mode, and we're going to figure out how to get rid of that token. And the good thing is that he has two monsters on board. We can go extra for three. We can small world our way into Lava Golem, so just like I was saying in the video, we can go Eater of Millions Revealer to Lava Golem. Awesome. And then we can do Lava Golem in defense mode, attack into him with Nibiru, and hope that we have enough. I believe he did search the, um, he searched the spell card, but we have DD Crow to counter that. So, we're going to DD Crow his Alan Burshin. He's left with one card, and the only one card combo that's possible is with Circular, but we don't have him no more. So now we finally drew our girl, we can activate her, put the spell face up, we can't summon her the same turn that we put her in here with her effect. So we have to wait till next turn to summon her. He goes face down, alright so things are looking good for us. We're going to summon the white dog, because the white dog can only be summoned if the girl's face up in her extra deck, so you want to have this order, the right order. Now you summon her, banish all that, and then... We're going to put cards back into our extra deck, and that should be the end of the game. 3 plus 2 is 5. There we go. Alright, next matchup, it's going to be against Branded. So, Branded is kind of a tough matchup. Branded and Labyrinth are kind of tough for us, but we're going to see what we can do here. He's going to reveal his Bestial Sarnir, send his um, Fusion card, Titan Clad, add that dragon there he's gonna send branded retribution um he's sending branded fusion to the grave he act he adds or he summons a luber goes for branded loss just in case we have something for branded fusion but luckily we do have dd crow we're gonna chain it to the trap card which is very important chain it to the trap he has called by and our one of ghost bell is luckily in our hand so 
We got really lucky right there. And we were the ghost bolo called by. So now he can't play with branded fusion. And this is what branded looks like without branded fusion. Let's see what he does. He passes his turn. He summons Guiding Quem, sends Fallen Albaz. Cool. So if we move a card out of our extra deck, she's able to summon Fallen Albaz. And Fallen Albaz can fuse with our monster. We gotta be very careful. So we pot of Prosperity for six. He does Ash Blossom. That's fine. Now we do a small world with Reveller. And okay, so the thing with Reveller it, er, with Devour is that when you summon him, you need to banish three cards from your extra deck. Well, if you move a card out of your extra deck, she activates and she summons Fallen Albaz. And since he's a dark monster, he's going to go into Albion. Albion's going to fuse Albaz, Lubelion. Lubelion, Mirror Jade, it's gonna start. So that's why we don't summon him, we go for Small World. We go Dreaming Nemleria, we activate him, put the Continuous Spell face up, we get our double search here. So we're gonna go for another Devour plus O'Reiler. And we're not summoning Devour for the very reason I explained just a bit earlier, so we're just gonna go summon him for free, and we're gonna smack into Quen first. Now we're safe to summon our um, Devour reveal. And we're gonna send him to the grave, search our repeater trap, and we have Ash Blossom in hand in case he has anything. All right, let's see what he does. He goes super poly. All right, that's you can't unavoidable, but it's fine. He has he has Cartesia to his hand. Now repeater requires a Nemleria card to be face up, which we have one. It's the Dreaming Tower, so now we can half the damage we take. We take 1250 plus 750, so we're living here. He's gonna fuse these two into Granguignol, Granguignol Dusk Dragon. All right, he sends Albion branded. We have Ash Blossom, nice. Our hand looks pretty empty, but we do get, okay, so you also want to manage your face down extra deck very well. Um, so we have two left. Do we want to do half damage or do we want to search card? Well, we probably want to search a card, right? So we want the girl to be the only face up or the only card in the extra deck face up so we're gonna go search and we want to search for things that we can actually summon so we're gonna go him and him we're gonna go double summon here summon the girl girl banishes five banish aluber all the good stuff boom and we return five back to our extra and now since we have extra deck in here we can reveal banish three summon him we're going to attack first before activating Reveal. We want to get the damage in. Now we want to activate re Reveal. And very important here is you want to send, if you have a choice between sending the white one and the brown one, you want to send the brown one just because he has targeting protection for your trap, spell, and monsters as well. We're going to set our trap. This is the, think of it as like a non-targeting Book of Moon. We're going to go max C draw phase and there we go. All right, now up next we have the deck that keeps coming back from the grave. We have tier limits, so we have our one card combo. It doesn't really matter. We can droll this guy too if we wanted to. I think we're gonna just droll. Yeah, we're just gonna droll this Kashtira Fenrir. He's gonna call by. That gives us a free maxi to chain to his Kashtira. Oh, we maxi right here. We notice the three and a seven. That's a Baron, like 90% of the time, so. He goes Baron, we get that one draw. Bam, we get drawn to Maxi, unfortunate, it's fine. We are, oh, okay, this is perfect. So in this situation, um, it, I guess it, the, you probably want to use the spell card first. So the Baron negates that, that way you can put the continuous face up. There we go. Now he negates that. And now we're gonna activate our Dreaming and Larry, putting the continuous face up. He summons him, we go maxi. Boom, we get draw. We got Ghost Belt, nice. He's gonna send three to Grave. He sent a bunch of tier limit stuff. So he's gonna start chaining. Um, he's gonna summon, but we did activate maxi, so. Maxi is the best Nemlaria card, as they say. Boom, Pot of Extra, we can't use it, unfortunately. He goes Kalido Heart. <laughs> it's funny because he banished, he shuffles this pack, but we just drew into another one. <laughs> so 
the funniest thing. Okay, so now we summon him, we activate... Okay, so we summon him first, because he protects this continuous. That's why we want to do it like that. We, we get this and brown. Now we're summoning brown dog, we're summoning reveal, and defense mode. He goes super poly with two of our monsters. Can't search. He goes to Pelia. Alright, perfect. So notice the Pelia targets here. Once per turn, you can target a face at monster, so we can negate that with White Dog. Send top 5, I'm ashing that because I don't want to deal with any more <laughs> graveyard snow shenanigans. Alright, we're gonna do a battle phase. We're gonna negate that, sending an extra deck to Grave or Banish Zone. We're going to O'Reiler during the damage step just to get rid of this Predator Plant because he's the only annoying effect that's on the board. Alright, we're going to pass our turn. Now Barone can either tag out, I think that's what he's going to do. Yeah, he's tagging out to Kit, we're going to stop him with our Ghost Bell. We don't want Kit doing stuff, like Kit's crazy. So he's going to pop a card, we're going to negate that. Yada yada. Boom. Summons Maxi to send three. He sent nothing, thank goodness. Now this is where the continuous spell protects us. Boom, okay. Now the reason why I let this card get destroyed is notice the amount of cards in our extra deck. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And you notice we have Pot of Extra in our hand. So would you rather have five cards in here and not be able to use extra to its full value or would you rather have one monster gone but get the full extra so I want the full extra so that's why you want to always check to make sure how many you have in your extra you can tag out into kit bam he's gonna send three so just pray what does he send okay he's got snow mother fudge bro he got Snow, and he's got Havness Activate, and then he gets to shuffle a card. So he gets to shuffle a Ryler. Alright, let's get shuffling. He's fusing into Rukalos. Alright, that's not a problem, because the girl is an inherent summon, so you can't really negate her summon anyway. We summon the girl, we just banish this whole field in Snow. And we keep the maxi. <laughs> Alright. And then we can just search with our Continuous spell. Oh yeah, we return her to the extra deck, we can search, and we can kill. Awesome. Alright, this time we have our super heavy samurai. So, for this one, um, super heavy samurai, you gotta watch out for their motorbike. Motorbike's kind of like the card I look out for. But he's going Scareclaw, and we also have Nibiru. The thing with Nibiru against super heavy samurai is that they can completely counter Nibiru, so... They counter it with their Stardust Dragon, he just tags out into Stardust, makes him unaffected, and then nothing really gets accomplished with Nibiru. So, he's gonna summon back his 4, he's going into the level 8, bam, and then he chains him, special summon the 2. Now what I should do is chain Nibiru here, but at the time I didn't know that they play Stardust Dragon in their extra deck. And some people don't, some people do, but he does. So he summons Stardust Dragon, he instis and grows into Barone. I'm only able to get value on two monsters. Um, so yeah, you wanna make sure you do it before he actually summons the level two tuner. So now we do have a Lava Golem we're sitting on. He's just gonna go full combo here. Get soft once per turn searches Borload Savage, pretty generic though alright he gets that, I don't know what's going on, but he's summoning stuff he goes into Naturia Beast, that's nasty that's actually kind of nasty so I can't use Extrav, right? but that's where Lava Golem comes in handy so what do we do? do we want to Lava Golem Let's okay, let's think here first before I show what I did obviously you want to get rid of Naturia Beast, that's, that's a given now, do you want to get rid of Borload Savage or Barone? Well, Barone actually destroys the card that it negates, and Borload Savage doesn't destroy. So that's the one side of Borload Savage that is bad about him. So I think we're thinking Atria Beast and Barone. We play Small World. Hope he negates. He does not. So we're going to go into a second Lava Golem. 
tributing out Borload, Savage, and Lava Golem. We play our one card combo, Sweet Dreams, into the girl. The girl's gonna play the face up continuous spell. We're gonna get two searches off, so let's get our two searches, the reveal and the white one. Or the black one, so we can actually attack over Lava Golem. So we hit summon him, summon reveal. We can clear both uh, the token and the Lava Golem, which is perfect. Now what we want to do is we want to activate reveal in main phase two, set the repeater trap. He goes effect Veiler. All right, cool. Well, that's fine. Not really. He goes Drew Swarm. Okay, so we're in a kind of a tight spot. We have zero interruption, so they have free reign. They can do whatever they want. Oh, okay. I guess not. We go search two more. No, we go extra for six. Draw two. Search two. Now let's check how many cards we have in our extra. We have one left. Ah, uh, how are we going to get this one? We play another one. And we pass. We play Max C here. And he's going to add a super heavy samurai monster. And now he can equip it and do a bunch of stuff. Alright, let's see what he does. We draw a card. We do play two Nibiru, so we possibly could draw into another one. Alright, he's special summoning a whole bunch. He's trying to end me here. We got Ash Blossom. Nice. Dispater. Oh, that, that's going to hurt. He sends that. Okay, okay, yeah, he's hurting now. He's hurting hard. Battle phase, 35, 25. Not quite enough. We're left with 200 and a bunch of cards, so this is really, really good for us. We're going to play Sweet Dreams in the area. So look, look at this. The Remember the effect that I was talking about earlier, where... Add a Nemlaria monster deck to your hand, then if you have a Dreaming Nemlaria face up in your extra deck, right here. Um, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects this turn when a Nemlaria monster is normal or special summon. So, if we successfully normal or special summon the girl, she cannot be negated. So we're gonna only use his effect just to get rid of the very last card. Now she's the final card. He's gonna negate, or he's gonna, what is he gonna do? He's gonna shuffle it back, I think? Oh, he's preventing us from summoning the girl. Now we use Million Eater to banish our whole hand. Um, and that one card, just so we can get the girl on the field. The girl's gonna non-target banish, cannot be um, stopped because of that spell card effect. And now he's returning cards, and I don't know if it's game yet, actually. But, I mean, he's playing with no cards, and we're playing with... Oh wait, never mind. Gustav is broken. And we finish him off with the XE's combo. Alright, so this final game is going to be up against Scareclaw. I believe with a little bit of Manadium, I could be wrong. But Maxi is the best card, so we're going to Maxi instantly. And that gives us a chance to kind of set up, because we did lose the coin flip here. So we're going to activate our girl, put the continue spell, search 2. Revealer plus dog because we already have the white one. We're gonna summon white, black, and now summon the reveal. Boom. Activate to gain some attack points. We're trying to finish him here, but don't think we can. And we're gonna set our trap card. We're going to set our called by. We're kind of saving this for the so that we can take advantage of the extra effect where he can't respond. Alright, he's going to scareclaw right card. Going into Manadium, Scarecrow, Lightheart. I Ash here. I'm. I don't know if I should Ash here. If I should Ash the Field Spell that he searches. I think the Field Spell because it can only be activated once per turn. But he's gonna get double value out of, off of Meek. But I do have Cold by to stop that double value. So now he's hurt very hard here. But he does tribute one Scarecrow to pop two. Now what I could have done is if this card was already face up on the field, I could have protected it with Dream Defender, but. It wasn't face up, so yeah. Sometimes you do want to flip this instantly so he can protect it. All right, so I'm, I'm not dying this turn. I did the half damage one. So I'm taking half damage, whatever he does. He needs to do 16,000 to kill me. He's going into Lightheart again to search the field. All right, he activates field, searches for Scareclaw Redheart. Goes into Chaos Angel, banishing my monster. I try to, I just do it for the banish. I know he's unaffected, so it's whatever. 
He goes special summon, links off into cross sheep, then he goes to Astro Cloud. Astro Cloud tries to pop my monster, but the continuous protects me. So continuous spell protects me. I take half damage this turn so I don't die. And the continuous spell just protects me, so. Goes into try heart. Alright. That's fine. He special summons card. Defense mode, and since he can pop a card now, because there's three defense mode monsters, he's popping the field or the continuous. Alright, what can we do? We have three left. We have three left. Okay. Activates that trap. How can we do the three? Well, we can search for a reveal. Or no, we search for white dog. White dog. We go into Gustav Max Cannon for that 2,000 damage. Boom. So this is why you definitely want this card. This card wins you games. Alright, that's the end of the guide. Thank you guys for watching and thanks for sticking around. Um, I also do have a Discord. It's in the description below as well as the um, as well as my live streams. I stream right on YouTube, so if you're subscribed, hit that notification or I also post um, notifications in the Discord as well. And I hope you guys have a good one. Bye bye.